His victory was, for many, even his most loyal supporters, a moment that was hard to believe. This man, a former rebel, now Colombia's new president. He told the country that the history they were writing now was a new history for Colombia, for Latin America and for the world. Petro's victory marks an important moment for Colombia in so many ways. Not just because he's Colombia's first leftist leader, but in his deputy, Francia Marquez. She's the first black person to become vice president. An environmentalist, a feminist, a woman born into poverty. In a country plagued by inequality, that significance wasn't lost on the supporters in the crowd. Finally, we have done it. Finally, corruption has ended. So many years of fighting, so many deaths. Finally, we can have justice. Colombianos. Gustavo Petro's rival, Rodolfo Hernández, conceded defeat swiftly. Acepto el resultado. I have said the result as I should be if we want our institutions to stay strong. I sincerely hope that this decision that's been taken will benefit everyone. This vote was all about change for Colombia. The traditional right didn't make it to the second round. People are fed up with the status quo. And both candidates represented something different. But with Colombia's turbulent history, decades of civil conflict between leftist guerrillas and right-wing paramilitaries, for some, a vote for Petro was a vote too far. I just can't vote for someone who has believed that violence is a way to achieve political means. It's a sort of nonsense to preach peace but have practiced violence. But that fear of the left was outvoted. Although Petro will have his work cut out trying to convince his critics, he's the man for the job. In his address to the nation, he talked about a government that included all Colombians. The atmosphere here is electric. It's no cliche to say these elections have been historic. That much is clear. It's also shown how Colombia has moved on from its past and voted for a very different future. Outside, the celebration continued. His young supporters couldn't be happier about Colombia's new direction. Katie Watson, BBC News, in Bogota.